Welcome back guys. Uh, so in this video, we're going to explain about utility and our box of pizza has arrived, has been delivered. So I'm going to ask these two guys, Kaden and Jaden, about uh, about this pizza. And you, they know nothing about economics, but uh, the questions I'm asking them, they will lead us to the concept of the day, which is utility. Right, I'll start with Jaden. Jaden, uh, from this box, how many slices are you going to eat? Four. Four. No, you are lying. You are going to get three. Why do you say three? Because he eats three slices. He eats three of... every time. Yes. Okay. There is a reason why he eats three. Okay. That 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 gets us to. And Kaden, how many do you normally take? I usually take three. Do you? Yes. Mm hmm. I thought you took four. Okay, I take four, <laughs> five sometimes. Well, thank you guys for this. You can hit the highway. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. All right. So, oh, take this along. Right. So, oh, yeah. You can start eating. Sharp. I'll, I'll join you. Right. So, in this, what we're going to, what we're talking about is utility, like I said. Now, with utility, it's the satisfaction you receive from consuming a product. So, we, we have the units that we use to measure utility is what we call utils. Now, it's, it's not an actual measure and it's also subjective. My, wh what, if you look at the, 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 the one slice of pizza, uh, it, it doesn't satisfy me the same every time. It depends also on how hungry I am. Now, why is it that uh, Jaden eats three? He eats three because, okay, first, the first one will give him so much satisfaction that um, he has to take the second one. And as he goes to the third one, he's, the utility is going down, like it diminishes. And the reason he won't take the fourth is because the fourth one yields him a negative utility. Okay, let's say utility is one up to ten. So the first slice will probably give him a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten because it's satisfying his uh, hunger to that point he really wants it and he's so hungry then the second slice it might not give him as much satisfaction as the first one or he might not enjoy it as the first one because he's not as hungry as he was in the beginning so now he's the utility is going to drop let's say to a seven so he it is worth taking so he's gonna take the the second one when he gets to the third one, he's getting to that point of being satisfied. And by the time he finishes that, he might not see a reason for him to take the fourth one. So, like you heard what Caden says, he says, Jaden was lying when he said four. Of course, as a child, you might want to have a lot, but he won't be able to get all four because by the time he hits three, he's full and he can't take the fourth one. If I was to force him to take the fourth one, he might even start crying because he's too full. Okay, so he might even lose the other three because he might end up throwing up. So that that, that shows us that um, utility uh, will diminish as we uh, consume additional units. And so we call it the law of diminishing marginal utility. As we all know, the word marginal means additional. So as you add another slice of pizza, your utility tends to drop and you add another one, it drops. And then when it gets to negative, it means you are better off not having it than having it. Because if not having it gives you a zero satisfaction and having it gives you a negative two, so you are better off not having the, 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 the fourth one than taking the fourth one because it will drop your utility. So that is what uh, utility helps us make choices when we go out in a shop. And it happens subconsciously. It doesn't mean like you have to go around with a calculator and say which items are going to maximize my utility. Uh, it happens subconsciously because you know that, okay, if I have this much, 50 rand, uh, what can I buy that is going to give me the most satisfaction? If I'm hungry and I'm thirsty, and I have 50 rands, I, I'll probably go to McDonald's. Why? Because with my 50 rand, I'm going to buy Mac chicken and it comes with Coke. So the Coke, it's a meal. So it comes a burger, chips, and a cold drink. So that is going to give me uh, the highest satisfaction, I think. Uh, 
than uh, me saying, okay, let me go and buy a pizza, uh, a, a large one for 94 rand or something like that, uh, one large uh, pizza. Uh, that, that won't really get me there because number one, I cannot afford it. Number two, even if that pizza, okay, let's say medium, let's say medium is 50 rand and I have the 50 rand, that is going to satisfy my hunger. How about my, my thirst? Because I'm also thirsty. So uh, when we buy things that we buy, we buy a combination of goods that will give us the most satisfaction depending on what's going on. Okay, uh, if there is something I didn't really clarif clarify, you can uh, comment down below. Ask me uh, if you don't understand any of the things I explained, but I hope you did. And yes, that's the law of diminishing marginal utility and also the concept utility itself. Thank you so much. As always, like, subscribe and join the family, the distinction bound student. Thank you so much. God bless.